Welcome back, guys. Uh, today we're gonna uh, put some coilovers on Kyle's XB real quick and uh, pull the wheels off and clean them up and paint them and maybe put some window visors on just to uh, take some of the ugly off of this thing. Here's a little before. <clears throat> you can see the wheels, the wheels are pretty nasty. They had hubcaps on it forever, so they're a little rusted. All right, well, while I'm working on cleaning up and up in the garage, so uh, I got Kyle taking the wheels off of his car, and uh, then I have him start uh, wire wheeling and sanding the rust and, and trash off of them. We kind of cleaned them with some. Um, uh, I think we used some MEK uh, substitute uh, and kind of wiped them down since he didn't wash the wheels before he brought the car over. Um, so we kind of we wiped the wheels down with some cleaner, um, and he started wire wheeling them and sanding all the rough spots. Um, we pulled the wheel weights off and taped uh, the location where they were at and marked it so we could put them back in the same spot. Uh, we taped the tire. Uh, you can kind of see the blue tape there in the picture. Um, so anyway, while he's working on getting the wheels cleaned up, um, I start getting some of the stuff out uh, so I can uh, start doing the coilovers while he's working on the wheels. So while he's prepping both our, all four wheels, um, I'm starting to uh, work on the front coilovers on the car in the background, but we'll show that in a minute. But anyway, he gets uh, all four wheels prepped and... Um, we used index, we let the air out of the tires and use index cards to uh, kind of back mask the wheels. And right here we're using a, uh, I think it's a graphite gray uh, wheel paint from Duplicolor. I think we got it at AutoZone or O'Reilly's, one of the two. Um, and uh, we, so we put, or I put two coats of the gray on it. Uh, it's got like a, a light metallic in it. And then put, um, Two coats clear on it also so now we're letting the wheels dry and here I'm starting to do the coilovers um, you know we're not gonna do a how-to on this because there's you know there's hundreds of how-to's how to do coilovers on an XP and then specifically these Raceland coilovers but uh, you know the, the quick gist of it is I uh, take the two big bolts out of the bottom undo the brake line undo the ABS sensor uh, cable and then go up top and take the three uh, nuts off the top of the strut pull the strut out kind of hard to get to these three nuts in the back um, an open end wrench can get to them So here it is, I got it out now, here's this 
spring compressors I was talking about. Um, I'm just gonna run these down with the impact and go ahead and pull that top head off. detailed videos on doing this that there was no point in uh, making a long detailed video on this it was just a quick uh, in and out project it took longer uh, to paint the wheels and all that stuff than it did to do the coilovers I mean these are super simple Lane coilovers. We went ahead and set them to the lowest setting um, in the front and rear. Um, we really need to raise the front back up on it um, after we set it down, but he wanted to ride around with it for a little bit and see how it rode and, and see if the rear would settle anymore. But when he came over last week, I think he needs to raise the front back up a little bit because it's, it's about an inch lower in the front than it is in the rear. Uh, here we're taking the back out uh, the factory shock got uh, double nuts on it at the top and uh, so I had to get two wrenches to break them loose and I had to get a wrench so I could break both of them loose because I couldn't get I couldn't get them to come off oh. but anyway take the, sh the rear all you got to do is take the shocks loose and the swing swing axle will drop down and um, then you can pull the stock springs out um, these ones, the uh, I reused the rubber on the top of the factory spring, and then put bolt the adjuster in to the bottom of the swing arm like you see here, and um, and then just put the spring back in. And once I did both sides, I took, had him had one of the guys uh, grab the jack and just jack one side of the swing arm up so I could reset the new, you know, the new shock in. top of the shock while I'm holding it in from below and now they're jacking the swing arm up on the other side so we can get this shock line back up and we're moving to the other side and uh, we're gonna do the same thing on this side move the jack to the other side put the shock in at the top put the uh, jack the swing arm up again put the shock on it and we're done we're done it's these are super simple they just kind of hand started them and that was that now we put the wheels back on we're putting uh, went, Kyle went and picked up some uh, some new chrome lug nuts and 
while we were out picking up the paint and the lug nuts, we got, um, I'd had some from years ago when I had my XB, um, back in 05 or 06. I had, um, bought the Napa dust caps, trailer, like trailer hub dust caps to put on the stock wheels. And I never got all four of them, so Kyle picked up two more. Um, I had three of them, but he, uh, up two more because they're only like a dollar something at Napa. Uh, so we're using those as center caps. And for now, he's using uh, a set of beauty rings I had for a set of smoothies. Should have put some two by sixes yeah, underneath sure the, the tires on the jack. Uh, right here, Kyle. Oh, now you can't pick it up. Accidentally no, released no. the jack and uh, no, stop. Ah. it bottomed it out on the bumper, pushed the handle down so he couldn't jack it back up anymore. Uh, but luckily, the only thing that was getting caught on the jack was the bolt for the handle. So I had him pick up on the bumper whip a little bit and uh, pull the jack out from under. But, And stuck under there, but it didn't. So here we polished up the rest of the beauty rings uh, just because they've been sitting for a long time so they're kind of dirty from uh, having you know grinder dust and stuff on them from sitting in the garage forever but we won't go ahead and get them all put on in the center caps and uh, you'll see a walk around of it and up close look of them in just a second i thought we had uh, got some video of putting the window visors on but apparently i must have forgot to turn the camera on but he picked up a set of uh, cheap Amazon window visors that I can't remember the name of them, but they're they're styled after some like original, not original, but um, older um, Japanese styled ones for the that were for the BBs. Um, I had a, a similar set when uh, when I had mine years ago. But here's the wheels. So Kyle had put up these taillights and uh, some new headlights in this thing uh, a couple weeks ago uh, just because his factory headlights were real nasty looking. But anyway, uh, I think this thing looks way better with the wheels painted and the trim rings and caps and stuff on it and lowered. Um, but anyway, um, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you all liked what you saw. This is a pretty cheap transformation. I think... Uh, I think it might have cost them maybe 550 at the most for everything. The coilovers, um, center caps, wheel paint, lug nuts, um, window visors. Um, it was definitely a good bang for the buck for transformation. But anyway, uh, if you liked what you saw, uh, like and subscribe. Um, there'll be a lot more car stuff coming out more frequently. Um, and some more garage content too. But... Um, Alright, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.